Welcome back. My next two guests are best known for working side by side to help folks transform their bodies on the ABC hit show, Extreme Weight Loss. Now this dynamic duo is taking their talent of transformation one step further, and they join me via Skype to tell us all about it. Welcome, Chris and Heidi Powell. Hello, guys. Hey, Hello, how are you? Thank you for having us. Oh, I am so happy that you guys are on the show. I can talk to you guys forever. But, you know, <laughs> but unfortunately, we can't do that. So <laughs> how are you guys doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing terrific. I'm, I have so many questions to ask you. So I'm going to jump right into it. All right. So the first one, um, the biggest myth that you guys can share with our, with our viewers um, about, you know, losing weight. Give, give us, give us the, the tip of that. I've got one that everybody, everybody gets this one wrong. Everybody thinks that you can outwork a bad diet. They think, oh, you know what? I can eat whatever I want because I'm just gonna exercise and exercise and exercise. The average human cannot do that. You cannot outwork a bad diet. There's a few exceptions like marathon runners, elite athletes, CrossFit Games athletes, just because they're training all day, every day. But the average, the average American cannot outwork the bad diet. So we always say abs are made in the kitchen. You have to remember that. People are always like, oh, what can I do? How, what kind of crunches can I do? Do I need to add weight? Do I need to do this crazy ab machine? No, you just need to change what you eat in the kitchen. And that's obviously, you know this, or although mm -hmm. you can't spot reduce, right? So you Absolutely. can't shoot target an area and burn fat there. Yeah. It's, it, fat is lost globally throughout the body. So if you're going to lose here, you're going to lose everywhere. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Next question. What is the difference between weight loss, health, and wellness? Who wants to okay. tackle this one? <laughs> well, so we actually change it a little bit. We say weight loss and transformation because I feel like transformation is weight loss with health and wellness. Now, weight loss itself, you can do, you can Google a thousand ways, actually more than a million ways to lose weight and most of them are going to work. If not all of them, they're going to work. But what are the chances that you're going to keep the weight off forever? For us, transformation is when you take everything into consideration, including Number one, keeping the weight off forever, but also your internal health because that is more important than anything. So by that, we do not promote, we don't endorse any kind of gimmicky diets. Anything 30 day, if it says seven weeks to this or 14 days to this, you've got to be careful because is you have to ask yourself, is this something I can do for the rest of my life? And chances are most of the ones being promoted out there are not something you can do forever. It's important that we eat real whole natural foods, but then also indulge when we when it's built into our plan so we never feel deprived we never feel like we can't do that forever we go by the 80 20 rule so 80 percent of the foods that we eat are real whole natural micro micronutrient dense foods mm -hmm. and then you know 20 percent kind of it's like i do marshmallow dream bars here and there and which is a rice krispie treat but for the record as long as you're eating fewer calories than you're taking in which would be weight loss yeah right. i can eat butterfinger bars and lose weight you can do it but is it good for you no that's not going to be in the world of health and wellness. Right. So I, I know that sugar is really not our friend. Are there substitutes for sugar or you should just stick with sugar but not too much of it? What, what is your take on that? It's a really good question and there's a lot of conflict here in the industry of course and it really depends on your take on it. Now if you're looking for real natural ingredients and you're looking for those sweeteners, now granted there are natural sweeteners like stevia, there's erythritol, xylitol, different sugar alcohols. Monk fruits. Yeah, but at the same Great. time some people don't handle those well. They can get some gastric distress from those. So then of course the industry also has artificial sweeteners like your sucralose and, and saccharin and those. Now sucralose is going to be the least offensive of all of those artificial sweeteners, but at the same time, and there, there are no studies out there that says, oh, this is over long, you know, used over long periods of time, it's gonna cause damage. So nevertheless, it seems to be the most popular of the artificial sweeteners. But again, you know, if, if you're looking for those real natural sources, yeah, maybe less sugar, maybe you could use cane sugar, you could use different like brown rice syrups, you could use different things like that, but nevertheless, those are still gonna have an insulin impact. So your, your pancreas is gonna release insulin, and so it's gonna trigger the body to store. Right. So listen, I've had a chance to look at your transformation app. It is the bomb. I love it. It's uh, so, there's so much information there. So for our viewers, tell us a little bit about what the transformation app is all about. Uh, I'll start and I'll let you take it away. Okay. Because when, when Chris starts, you're going to have a hard time cutting him off. Because he's so passionate, so passionate about it. You know, the biggest thing is 
we wanted to take away all excuses for anyone, no matter what your goal is, what your circumstances are, what your injuries are, what, no matter where you're at, there is a way. There truly is. There are programs from weight loss program to uh, body weight, you know, cross training programs to equipped cross training programs to women's physique, men's physique, at home body sculpting. There are programs for almost anything you would want to do in the resistance training world, which I absolutely love. And then when it comes to nutrition as well, it's so huge. And there are over 500 recipes within the app. And we have everything from gourmet foods for the foodies because right. some people like to cook their meals and they like them to taste amazing. Then there's people like me. I only have maybe five minutes to cook a meal. So we have uh, quick prep meals. We have grab and go if you just have to grab food and go. And then we actually have a fast food locator mm. because I can't tell you how many times, and you've probably been there, Aldo, yes. where you give someone a plan and they're like, okay, that's nice. And then they get in the car and drive through the fast food line or the drive the drive through line right. because that's just what we're programmed to do. So we're here to navigate all the, conven the convenience obstacles that the world has to offer. And on that fast food locator, we have a guide of what you can eat at every one of those popular fast food chains. Right. So it really there there's no way you can't succeed if right. you really want it that. So I have about 30 seconds left. Please tell me what's next for you guys real quickly. Oh gosh. Oh okay. So seconds. yeah, well, um the app that's out right now that's 1.0. 2.0 is in the mix here pretty soon. It's going to have a full macro counter involved in that as well as we actually just recently launched a coaching program with the coaches that we've actually had with us for like the last eight years, which is amazing. So we can actually now offer that one-on-one -on -one experience as we're guiding people through the transformation with the app. And so it's been some really just exciting times. Our, our, our whole team at Transform, we're, we're so fired up because uh, we got some really, really amazing things that are going to be wow. coming out to help people through the journey of transformation. Wow. Chris and Heidi, thank you so much. God bless. And I'll see you guys real soon. Thank you. Well, thank you. thank you, my friend. All right, guys. Still to come, have you banished bread from your diet but would love to bring it back? Stay tuned. Ahead, we'll show you how we might be able to help make that happen when Healthy Lifestyle returns in just a moment.